Hello everyone. Welcome to BTNX Learning. Today we are going to see with the help of ChatGPT how we can create pie charts and donut charts. Donut also a part of a pie chart. So before entering into the coding, we must know where are the areas that pie chart will be involved and where are the areas donut chart will be involved. Okay. So pie chart will be used like in case of showing the, let me show, yeah. Uh, showing the market share of different companies in the industries and uh, showing the percentage of students who received different grades on an examination and uh, like uh, showing the different ways that people spend their money. These are the examples where pie chart can be used. I am uh, saying for uh, as an example, okay? And the donut chart will be used like uh, comparing the sales of different products in the store and uh, showing the budget breakdown for a project and uh, so showing the results of a survey with multiple answer choices okay so these are the places where we will be using donut chart okay both will be same but the understanding of donut chart will be higher than the pie chart because in donut we can uh, visualize more things we will have some spaces to add uh, further values and the splitting and the visualization of data will be easy now let's go into the code okay i am using the same excel sheet which i have used for the earlier charts okay sample superstore uh, this you can download from the kaggle also if you give this name you can download and i will be using only this order step okay in this order step, it has order ID, order date, customer ID, country, uh, state, and mainly today we'll be dealing with region, okay, because uh, we are going to see the sales based on the region, okay, and uh, so the sales will be here, okay, so these are the two parts which will be used, and mainly these pie charts or donut charts will be used for the categorical representation of data, and for viewing the pie chart, in a good manner, the number of columns or the uh, the data which you are going to see should be lesser than five. Okay, if it is more, it will be clumped, which we may not be able to understand the real value of the chart. Okay, the representation may not be good. We cannot use our own uh, charts for visualizing the data. We may get the visualization, but it will not be in a represented properly. Okay, so let's uh, go into the code. Okay. So I am opening this chat GPT. Okay, as I said earlier, go to chat.openai.com. Here there will be chat GPT-4. And if you are doing the data analysis, you need to go advanced data analysis. This button should be enabled. Okay, the stick mark should be there. Then only you will get this plus symbol. Now I am attaching the file. Okay, so I'll be using the same part, the same thing. Okay, so now it is loading. We'll see now it has load okay and we'll be mainly dealing with order tab only okay so now we can see like uh, we will create a pie chart based on the with the region based on the orders okay and uh, we will see how it is with order tab region and sales okay so now i'll be writing to over here okay just uh, like ordinary like a prompt engineering type create a simple pie chart based on order step okay because it will understand that we are it, it will pick it should pick only from the order step because there are other tabs also okay it should not mistakenly take the uh, columns from there that's what i'm giving specifically it should be from the order step okay then I will give based on based on region and and sales. Okay, you will see how it's giving. That's what I will start by loading the order step from the provided Excel file. Then I will extract the relevant data for the region and sales column to create a pie chart. Okay. So let's begin. It is generating the code. The states for each columns are as follows. First, it is giving the values. Then it is giving the 
diagram. I will now create a pie chart to visualize the sales distribution across this region. Okay, it is generating. Let's see. See, guys, how it is giving. Central is represented in the light red. East is represented in light blue. It's not yet generated. Okay, fully. Okay. Now it has come. Okay. So central, it has been generated five zero one comma two three nine point eight nine dollar. East it is dollar six seven eight comma seven nine one. And uh, so now it is creating the pie chart. Let me uh, show it in the document. I am not sure how it is visible. I will better. I hope you can see much better. 31.6 percentage. This is 17.1 percentage. East is 29.5. Central is 21.8. See how it's easily getting the uh, result actually. That is the advantage and that is the uh, technique of chat GPT. Okay. Because if you learn this prompt engineering, right, it will be so easy because we must know how to give the commands to chat GPT to work. Else it will not be giving the uh, required uh, result. Okay. So now let's see. The central is represented in light red. Everything we are giving, whatever you have seen. Okay. So now I want the values. Okay. Okay. He has given only the percentage. Okay. Well, let's see. I want the values. Uh, display. I'll put. Values in the right chart in addition to in addition to percentage because uh, given only the percentage rate, I want to know what is the value. Okay. So let's ask. It's generating. Let's wait. Yeah, now we got it right. 725. This is the for the west part. This is the uh, value and this is the percentage for the south part. 391 comma 721 that is the value and uh, that is the percentage this will be the for the east and this will be for the central okay so now you have seen the pie chart okay now let's go into the donut chart okay donut chart will give much more uh, good info okay because we can give, get the proper uh, sectors or the proper data okay let's uh, see now the same uh, region and sales let me check in pie chart okay create donut sorry donut chart for order star based on region and sales okay same part okay how it is giving let's see as I said, there will be what is a circular space that will be in between in the center. Just it represents like a donut. See, we got it. So in this time, based on the above result, it got the percentage as well as uh, the value, the total value what we got actually, and uh, representing the sales distribution by region. And if this is the, if you want to go into the code, right, you can use this code and you can add it in your uh, Google Collab or Jupyter Notebook or Visual Studio Code and whichever IDEs you are comfortable. Okay. And you must know, right, uh, PLT means it is plotting, subplot. These uh, basic uh, uh, pandas, this NumPy, this Python libraries, you must be aware. It will be easy. Okay. And imagine this is getting, it is doing the Lambda function. Okay. Like, uh, in the Python, you might have come across a Lambda. So that part it is using. So if you are not aware about how to do Lambda, this is doing, and it is making our work life easy. Okay. And it is also giving the title, right? Sales distribution by region donut. You can give the prompt, change the uh, title. I want some other title that also. Okay. And uh, now what we can do, like, uh, I think I'm just uh, keeping it in the document so our easy work, easy visualization not sure how it is visible in the the chat gpt site so i am giving here so same 
I hope it, it is visible, everyone. Okay. So now, see, for example, there is the center part, right? It is a, uh, there is a vacuum. Okay. We can fill, like we can make the cumulative total value, or we can add some other information or data which we need. Whereas we cannot keep those uh, information in pie chart because it has been fully covered. If we club this data over there, it may get confused. This is represented for what? Unless you are the coder. Okay. I will tell you. Okay. For example, uh, I will say display the like. The sum of. In the center of the donut chart for order step. Okay, so here we should get the let's see. It's working. May say take little time based on the uh, scenarios. These are basic things, so it, it won't take that much time. See, guys, it has brought the total value of the sales. Okay, if you add all the things, for example, imagine now I can understand. Okay, if I'm giving to my boss or the CEO is saying, he will understand. Okay, this is the sum of the sales, like that. Anyone can understand. I need not to uh, explicitly tell. Okay, but imagine if I'm adding the same sum of uh, uh, sales over here. It, it will display over here in the pie chart, okay? You may not be able to understand whether this, this is represented the, for this one or it is for the West or is it for the South. So that confusions will be there. Whereas in donut chart, that type of confusions will not be there, okay? So that is one of the advantage. Okay, so I hope you liked this uh, sessions because this is, this is a basic uh, uh, pie chart and donut chart uh, creation and visualization. And if you find the tutorial helpful, join our workshop at a minimal price from the link given in the below description. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.